Advancements in military medicine have saved countless lives that might have been lost due to mishaps on and off duty. Some of those advancements include motion capture and augmented reality, and they're in use at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center in Bethesda. Dustin Diaz visited the hospital and talked to a sailor who is using this technology to get back to the life he once knew. This is the Computer Assisted Rehabilitation Environment, or Karen Lab. If it looks like a giant video game, that's because it essentially is one. I can program applications, so start from scratch and create anything that the clinicians want. And it's very neat to have mechanical, computer, and the motion capture, all of these systems integrated together and working at the same time. There are only 10 Karen Labs in the world. Got My Tan programs applications on this one designed to help physically rehabilitate injured service members. It does this with specialized cameras, augmented reality scenarios projected onto a massive high-definition curved display, and a motion platform with an embedded treadmill. They're usually very excited to work on the system, and he definitely has it. He has a, a background in, um, in gaming, and it's exciting for him to be able to incorporate that in his rehabilitation, and a lot of patients get that excitement out of it. Some service members refer to the Karen Lab are hurt in combat with traumatic brain injuries, amputations, or other grievous injuries. Others suffer non-combat injuries, like Petty Officer Jared Lenahan did four years ago. After I had deployed to Afghanistan, I went to Sicily. I was rock climbing with some friends on a weekend, and uh, some gear broke that wasn't supposed to. And I took a 50-foot drop outdoors straight to the ground. It was a bad fall. Broke three fingers on my right arm, two fingers on my left side, hip fib on my right leg, two toes on the left side, three toes on the right side, fractured two ribs, kidney laceration, liver laceration, a moderate traumatic brain injury, and I've got a rod on the left side of my leg as well. But he says it could have been worse. I probably shouldn't have my leg right now. I should also probably be dead right now. I've come a long way and I'm going to keep going. So. Jared is also seen in the adjacent gate lab, which is part of Walter Reed's Center for Performance and Clinical Research. This side of the house uses sophisticated motion analysis equipment to find exactly what an individual service member's problems are and how to address them. The left screen, that is Jared pre-Karen training. And as you can see from that, there's a lot of side-to-side -side motion. What you're seeing on the right screen, this is kind of a midpoint. He was able to do a fast walk, which is what's depicted on the screen. His gait is more fluid. He's definitely able to walk faster and he's eliminated that side-to-side -side motion. With the data from the Karen and Gate Labs, the help of Walter Reed's staff, and diligent training, Jared plans to get back to the life that he used to know. Personally, my goal is just to get back to rock climbing, 100%. Um, Dustin Diaz, Defense News Weekly.